Hey everyone, I hope you are having a great time. Today I'm reviewing this Peachtree Audio Nova 300 Integrated Amplifier, which is the, one of the most powerful integrated amplifier you can buy in $2,000 price range. It features the Class D amplification with ESS high resolution audio. It can do DSD 5.6 and PCM up to 384 kilohertz. This Nova 300 is rated for 300 watts at 8 ohm load with 450 watts at 4 ohm load, which is capable of driving any sort of speakers that you can buy in the market today fit and finish and build quality is very good it has a really nice structure with very efficient design top and bottom vent for the really good air circulation to control the temperature it comes with this Peach Tree remote control, which is the same remote control that they use for Nova 150. That is a fully featured remote control that comes with the unit. A little downside for me is volume control knob is a little sticky for my taste. Other than that, there is nothing to complain. Same as the uh, Nova 150 in terms of, uh, you know, features and functions, except for power and more different in terms of sound quality compared to Nova 150. So I will get to that later. As you heard in the uh, drum solo in this video intro, I used this Kef R11 and Aperion uh, Concert Tower VAT. It totally shows the uh, different sound signature and quality of these two different uh, tower speakers. It totally reflect the uh, actual sound signature of each speaker. And then I wonder, these VAT towers are designed with this kind of a Peach Tree audio products because they have a great synergy between these components, even compared to Kef R11. So Kef R11 sound signature is very transparent and neutral sound with without any brightness. In overall frequency range either voices or high frequency or upper mid range there is no brightness that uh, I cannot listen to so that is the uh, neutral and clean transparent sound signature without interfering interfering the actual sound signature of Kef R11 speaker that's why I like the uh, pairing Kef R11 with my Class A BIOS BME SX11 because the warmer sounding BME SX11 match really well with neutral and transparent sounding Kef R11. So that is my reference and that is my preferred sound signature. Pairing this Nova 300 with this uh, Aperion VAT towers produce very spacious white sound stage with deep sound signature without overdoing anything is clean neutral yet easy to listen warmish sound signature with very well controlled bass quality with very nice separation between the notes vocals and voices are very good and neutral sounding and very accurate and best of all mid-range to upper mid-range to high frequencies i like it more than kef r11 pairing with nova 300 because the synergy is really good that it can totally bring the best out of this vat tower speakers more than my reference Dano BME SX11M because the way that they, they can produce is totally enjoyable musical experience without overdoing anything. High frequencies are as very well extended and very musical to listen without any brightness. Upper mid range is as good as it can be. Probably you will go up to really higher price point of amplifier or speakers to be able to totally outperform that sound quality with this Nova 300 with this VAT towers. Some may wonder how much sound quality different between Nova 150 and Nova 300 aside from power rating. Sound quality 
you can totally hear the difference right away because out of curiosity, I try them back to back in this system using the MacBook Pro with Audiovana and also using that uh, Sony HAP Z1 ES Music Server. So trying all these components back to back and totally shows you a different in sound quality. So if you ask me how much different in sound quality, probably 20 to 25% different in overall sound quality. But that is a big difference, 20 to 25% different is. So where you will hear the difference is more neutral and cleaner sound reproduction from overall frequency range with from a Nova 300 compared to Nova 150. Better control, better authoritative uh, cleaner notes, I should say. Overall notes are well spaced and spaciously reproduced compared to Nova 150, yet still retaining good musical notes without overdoing anything. Better background noise. It's quieter background noise. Nova 150 is very good integrated amplifier that money can buy when it's come to all-in-one component that uh, you can easily enjoy your music listening. But if you want holy grail of a class D integrated amplifier, probably one of the best under five grand you can buy in the market today that will be Nova 300 for me because if I don't have this PMA SX11 the Nova 300 could be my reference integrated amplifier that I will be using that how good the sound quality and overall features and everything that it can offer best of all the power the power different and grounding method between these two different amplifier bring the best out of each component and most no noticeable in Nova 300. But listening to their sound quality and overall sound reproduction using these two speakers in my system, I can totally live with Nova 300 if I'm going to go with Class D integrated amplifier. Some may say uh, that DAC in that Nova 300 may be a little older than current offering, but you fear not because overall sound quality and resolution and sound reproduction that you can have from that a little bit older design can totally rival any digital analog converter under $1,000 or $1,000 price range. That's how good they can be. So here's my little advice. If you're going to buy Class D amplifier, Go with highest power possible. That is my advice. If you're going to buy solid state or traditional integrated amplifier or power amplifier, go with best possible power supply such as capacitor or transformers. Because biggest transformer you can buy, the better sound quality that you will get. When it comes to solid state amplifier, biggest transformer and high quality capacitor can bring you best sound quality. But when it comes to class D amplifier, of course, it does have to have a good quality components, but it has to have better power. Higher the power, better it will get. Personally, I have some experience using many different Class D M, including PS Audio or Crown, you know, PA Class D M's, and these are PS3 M's and some uh, Chinese made uh, Class D M's and all that. So that is my little advice. If you're gonna go with Class D M, buy a uh, highest power your money can buy within your budget. So this Nova 300 is holy grail of integrated amplifier in class D offering. This is a, one of the best buy in around $2,000 price range or even under five grand because the 450 watts at four ohm load, meaning pretty much you are set. I mean, you can 
throw any kind of uh, speaker and you will be very happy with overall sound quality. This B3 Nova 300 is probably one of the best buy for me. If I don't have this BMA SX11, I can totally happily live with Nova 300. This Nova 300 will be very good upgrade if you have any amplifier around $2,000 price range. That is my honest opinion. If you have a $2,000 integrated amplifier, try this Nova 300. Probably Nova 300 will smoke your amplifier. I'm very serious. So that is the, uh, my honest opinion. That's it, my friend. That is my quick review of Nova 300. Thank you for watching and happy listening.
sky. 